Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. In aircraft maintenance and storage hangars, the area within five foot horizontally from aircraft power plants or aircraft fuel tanks is classified as which of the following? And the correct answer is a class one, division two, or zone two. Now there are gonna be several different classifications just in this one area. And if you're not familiar with this, a classified location, hazardous location, is going to be an area where the code book and engineers and design professionals have deemed that there are either flammable liquids, flammable dusts, or some other type of flammable ignition problem, right? That if there is an arc, it could ignite because the quantities are high enough to warrant there being some type of special wiring method in that location. That's just a simplified version. There's enough vapors in this room. If there were an arc, we need to be concerned with it because it could blow this whole room up. So we just want to watch for that. In this case, we're talking about here. Let's go ahead and read the code and then we'll dive into the infograph. This classification extends upward from the floor, five foot above the upper surface of the wings or engine enclosures, ensuring safety and potentially hazard area due to in places like fuel and power plant operations. We can find the code in 513.3C1. And this question today is only dealing with a small portion of this area because there's likely going to be multiple classifications for the vertical heights, for the horizontal heights, and all the different areas. And this infograph is not exact dimensions, but I just want to give you an idea of what we're talking about here. So in aircraft hangars, there's going to be multiple places that are going to be classified. In the sump pit, where are we storing all of the fuel when we're working around this aircraft, which is what we're talking about today. We're talking about horizontally out for five foot up from that point is going to be a class one division two area. And if you look in the code book, a class one division two is going to be an area where there are potential flammable hazards, but they're normally contained. And unless there's an accident like a puncture in that container, we're not going to have that problem that escalates to a class one division one class one division one is going to be a location where, Hey, these vapors exist under normal operations and we need to wire in that area even more extreme than a class one division two. And what you're going to do in these areas, let's say you've deemed that it's a class one division two area. You're going to go to your code book and there's going to be special fittings, special seal offs, special containers, explosion proof, uh, boxes that you put things in and everything's going to be designed that if there were an arc inside of that box container switch box panel board whatever it is there's not going to be that arc isn't going to have access to the flammable vapors or flammable dust so everything that we do all we do is have to ask two questions what am i wiring and where am i wiring it first off what am i wiring well i'm wiring a switch and a light where am I wiring it? Well, I'm in a class one division two location. Now I know what I'm wiring. I can go to the associated code articles for switches. Then I can go to the associated code articles for where I'm wiring. What am I wiring and where am I wiring it? Do I need GFCI protection? Do I need AFCI protection? All of these questions can be answered and give you the, the place to go in the book by just asking where am I and what am I wiring? I am the electrical code coach, and this is a very exciting topic. All of the classified locations, I absolutely love it. Not a master by any means, but I do get to work with it on a very regular basis, and I'm really excited about these locations and where I'm going in my career with them and also where you're going to go in your career. I am the electrical code coach, and I've dedicated my life to help you become everything that you can be in life and in the electrical industry. If there's anything that you need from me, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. I'll try to help you in any way that I can. If you are enjoying these videos, if you'll hit that like button and that lets us know that you guys are enjoying them. And also if you're not involved with the polls that drive these videos, every day I drop a poll on our YouTube channel six days a week that you can get on and answer these questions and then watch the video of me explaining how we got the answer. If you need anything from me, just give me an email. Let's get to it.